Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part eight of my Blender video tutorial. In this part of the tutorial, I'm going to cover how we can cut holes as well as edges into both flat as well as curved meshes using both Knife Project and the Shrink Wrap modifier and a couple other little tricks. Like always, in the description underneath the video is a link to a text format of all the different things I click on so that it is very easy to follow, and I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. All right, yeehaw. So here is Blender, and we are going to very first get rid of this square. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in a plane. So I'll just go Shift and Mesh and Plane, and there it is. And down in the left-hand corner, you'll see everything I do, but I'm also going to say it. Okay, and then I'm going to go click on 7 so that I can see a top view of this. And then I'm going to create a, well, what I'm going to do first is I want to subdivide this. So I'm going to come over here and do subdivide, subdivide, and subdivide. That looks pretty good. Okay, and I'm zooming in with my middle mouse button. And I'm going to deselect everything here. And then after I create all of those subdivided faces inside of there, I am then going to create a circle. And I can just go right here to a circle and I'm going to scale this down so I'm going to press on S and then what I want to do is I want to well first off what I want to do is let's un let's escape from that what I want is our circle to have the same a number of vertices as or edges as we have inside of the shape where we're going to be drawing so that we can guarantee that we're going to have shapes that are going to either have four vertices or three vertices so what I want to do is I'm going to take this down to 16 all right so now I know that's 16 and then I'm going to scale this down until I have 16 outer shapes for our plane that surround it so that it will be easy for these to join okay so you can see right there we have 16 and then we are going to have eight uh, boxes around this four here four here four here four here and that is going to work out so that we will be able to create really nice polygons inside of here and have smooth shapes okay so I got that all set up then what I want to do is I want to come in here and delete out all of these faces so that I'll be able to draw inside of here so I'm gonna come down here and do face select then go C and I'm just gonna highlight every single thing inside of here and what I want to do is have a big circle in the middle big circle hole all right and then we can go and click on X and delete faces okay so we still have our circle in the middle and we have our outside edges for our square now what I want to do is join the two of them so I'm going to hold down the alt key and right click whoops first off goes edge select alt key right click and then alt key and shift and right click on the outside of this square then I'm gonna go W and I'm gonna go bridge edge loops and there you can see really nice uh, matching up between all of our different shapes so good stuff and if we would go back into regular edit mode and let's say that I want to do come over here and modifier and subdivision surface you're going to see that it went and smoothed out that inner part right there where the circle is and there is nothing wrong with the mesh Okay, all right, so that is how we cut into, cut holes into flat shapes. Now I'm gonna do something a little bit more complicated where I'm going to cut a hole into a sphere or a curved shape. All right, so once again, we got a new file here and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a sphere. So Shift and A and here is a UV sphere. And then I'm gonna deselect that. And then what I wanna do is once again, I want to cut a hole inside of it. So I'm going to come in and create a circle and there's the circle. And then I'm going to come over here and change this down to 16, just like I did before. So we will easily be able to match up. And then I'm going to want to rotate this guy. So I'm gonna go one on this. I'm gonna go R x and 90 to get my circle into position and i'm gonna hit enter to set it and then i'm gonna cover ropes inside of here and grab the green little guy there move this out press one once again and scale it down until it fits exactly in the middle of our sphere see we got four spaces four spaces four spaces make sure it's set up that way scale it once again and everything looks good all right so now we know that those uh, vertices are going to match up whenever we delete different parts of them now with the circle still selected I'm gonna come over here and go to the modifier panel 
and I'm gonna go add modifier and I'm gonna go shrink wrap modifier is what I want to add and I'm still in object mode it's very important I'm gonna come over here to the eyedropper and I'm gonna click on the sphere which is where I'm going to apply this near surface is selected nothing else offset zero I didn't do anything else with vertex groups or anything like that let's bring this down inside of here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this guy until this looks like a circle. So let's just move this in here, and there we go. That's right about what we're shooting for. So there is our circle inside of it. And then also make sure there's four on top, four on the side, if you're doing a 16-sided circle, that is. And then I'm gonna apply the shrink wrap modifier to this. And then I'm gonna go and select both of them and join them, so Control J. Now what I'm gonna do is jump over into edit mode, so tab. I'm going to press 1, and then I want to A, unselect everything, and then I'm going to come in here and select the different faces, and once again, delete them. So I'm going down here to face select, hold down, or I'm just going to click C, and then I'm going to select all of these different faces inside of here, and then X, whoops, I'm going to right click to set, and then X, and delete faces. Now you can still see the circles inside of there, and the edges are still there, so that all looks good. Now what I want to do is hold down my Alt key, and once again I'm going to, whoops, come down here to Edge, Select, Alt key, select that guy, and select that, holding down the Shift key of course, and there we go, we got all those selected. Then I'm going to go W, and Bridge, Edge, Loops. And you can see once again, we have a very nice clean hole inside of there. We can jump over to our regular object mode and we can smooth this if we'd like. And you can see it looks very smooth. And even if we came down here and did add modifier subdivision surface, you're going to see that it is also very, very smooth. So a really nice cut directly inside of our sphere. Okay, so that looks good. And I just wanted to show one other different way of doing a cut into a curved surface like a sphere. All right, so once again, we're going to click on X to delete this. We're gonna come in and create another sphere. So here is our sphere and A to deselect that. And then I'm gonna do another shift A and I'm gonna add a circle. And I'm gonna show you how to use knife project to cut a hole. And then on top of that, I'm gonna show you how we can go and create cuts um, with bevels and edges and things like that. All right, so we got that. One is going to show me my front perspective, so I'll be able to play around with this. And then I'm going to want to rotate my circle. So I'm gonna go R, X, 90 and enter to set that. And let's come out of here and grab just the green axis right here. Let's move that guy out. And one again to see the front view. Scale, and I'm gonna scale it down once again so that it's going to fit in between those four, say one, two, three, four spaces, one, two, three, four spaces like this. So I know I need to scale it down a little tiny bit more. Okay, so we got that right there and that's looking good. Whoops, one thing I forgot to do though, let's well, delete that. This is very good. I'm gonna come in here and create a circle again. Remember, I want it to be 16 vertices. See, I forgot that. See, but since I forgot that, you never will. All right, so got that all set. Now I'm gonna rotate it. So I'm gonna go R, X, 90, good. And then let's go like this, grab the green vertice, which is the Y, and back to one for a front face. Scale it, scale it way down inside of here. Let's zoom in, make sure that it stays in that area. Scale it just a little bit more. Okay, looks good. Now I got the circle selected. I'm gonna hold down the shift key and we're in object mode right now. And I'm gonna right click on the sphere we're gonna cut into. Then I'm gonna click on tab to go into edit mode. Then what I wanna do is go knife project and you can see that it projected directly on there. Now what I wanna do is go in and delete the faces inside of our circle. See if we can go X and faces and you can see that it deleted that right there. And then I can jump back over here to object mode and unselect everything and I could select this outside circle. Click on X and delete and it is gone. I can also come in and render it. It's not rendering very well only because of the light source. We'll go seven to go to the, get the top and then we'll right click on this guy right here. Bring it in a little bit. Um, let's just grab the axis, probably easier, and drag it down inside here. So now the light source is in the front. 
we'll go to the front right now and uh, also just to prove that we'll be able to use subdivision surface modifiers without any issues let's go and select this right here go down to modifier subdivision surface boom and you can see it's really nice and smooth it's not all mangled we can go smooth and it's going to get rid of that for us so that's looking good and there is yet another way to cut a hole into a curved surface so now what i want to do is i want to go into edit mode and i'm going to show you how to, we can cut bevel or whatever edges into the outside shell of this so what i want to do is i'm going to select all of these guys so i'm going to hold down the alt key I'm going to go and select all of the different parts while holding down the shift key. And we'll select the whole way around our sphere. And this is what we're going to do a lot whenever we are modeling in Blender in general, is doing lots of loop cuts and lots of bevels and things like that. So shift and alt, right click, and I'm going to continue doing that. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to apply bevels to all this. I'm going to go one just to get a front view of this. And now to put the bevels inside of it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go control and B. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move open, move my mouse just out slightly. And I can move my middle mouse button if I want to add more edges around there. But what I'm going to do is just simply just get it, just have one inside of there. And we got this like that. And then once I'm happy with it, I can go like this. And then I can go A to deselect everything. And now what I'll be able to do is, I wish there was a shortcut to this, but I really don't believe there ever will be. I'm going to hold down Alt, and I'm going to get all these guys, and hold down Alt-Shift, select just the middle parts of it for where we want our edges to loop the whole way around here. Sort of looks a little Death Starry. And Shift and Alt, and get all of these pieces. And then we can also scale them all at once so that they are all exactly the same that and that and that go back to our beginning and then I can scale them just by going S and X and move the mouse and I can actually have them go out like this if I would like but what I was originally aiming to do was having them go inside and not outside okay and there you go there is an interesting way to add a edge cut the whole way around our sphere Okay, so hopefully you guys found that useful. Just some extra little tricks to help you model cool things in Blender. And like always, please leave your questions and comments below. Otherwise, till next time.